Greetings friends, it's Monday and I just wanted to give you a quick update on this thing. There was a couple of jobs I really needed to do. The main one was to modify this so that now we can get a clean bolt in there using a socket with no uh, issues. It was hard to get in because of the lips or whatever they are. Probably not called lips but that'll do for now. Also with the washer we welded on it fits nice and flush to there. Uh, same with this side. And a piece of really good news is I found the secret to keeping the motor in there securely and that is that. I've got it uh, both sides. So that's very cool because for the first time I can honestly say it's incredibly easy to turn and that's what we want. That's a 26 tooth to an 18. I mean, it's, I can turn it with my finger and I'm incredibly weak. So that's very good news. The next job is to drill the holes in the drive shaft, which I'll try and get done today. I'm not sure. Once we get the holes in the drive shaft, there'll be, have to be one at the front, one at the back for another collar there, and then one to take the uh, bolt in there. But that feels really good. You know, it's not that you'll notice the chain's a little bit tighter. So, yeah, if it goes up and if it works, then we'll be laughing. The mounting of the motor at the back is potentially the major sticking point, but I did want to try it, so that's all the work. So it is my full intention to paint everything before it goes up, because everything just ends up like this. So... So yeah, it's kind of starting to look like a, a wind turbine, I guess, in a way. Yeah, it's ending up way heavier than I would have hoped, but at the end of the day, if it's going to be mega strong, it's going to have to sit up there all winter. That's the plan. Put it up and leave it all winter. Uh, that's just had some paint. I had a bit of blockage, so you can see uh, a bit runny there. But anyway, that is uh, an update of sorts, but glad to have sorted the problem out with the motor with those brackets. Let's just have another look with those brackets there. So that's an M8 rope clamp. Why rope clamp? Right, so sweet. I'll see you in the next video, hopefully. Bye.